Today we're talking about grouping tracks within Cakewalk by BandLab. So why might you want to group tracks and how do you actually group tracks in Cakewalk? If you want to learn the answers to those questions, stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sourcer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we're talking about how to group tracks in Cakewalk by BandLab. So grouping tracks is very important and it makes mixing much easier. So this tutorial is going to be kind of quick because it doesn't take very long to group tracks, but I'll show you how to do it properly because it is a little bit different in Cakewalk as opposed to Pro Tools, which is another DAW that I use. So before we get into this tutorial, I want to let you guys know I have a link popping up in the top right corner now to my Cakewalk training playlist. So this playlist contains videos ranging from beginner to advanced. And if you guys want to get better at using Cakewalk, definitely check out that playlist after this video. So with that being said, let's get into this video and let's talk about how to group tracks within Cakewalk. All right, so before we group anything, we should talk about why you would want to group tracks. Now, the reason you group tracks in any DAW is so that you can keep parameters in sync. So for example here, I got three kick tracks and I have a blend between them. So I would want to group these three volume faders here so that when I move one fader, the other faders move with it and it keeps the same mix the whole time. I don't wanna to have to move one fader like three dBs up and then go to the next fader, move that 3 dBs up, that would be very counterproductive, okay? So we wanna be very fast and efficient and grouping tracks helps with that, all right? So Cakewalk doesn't really allow you to group tracks. It allows you to group parameters, which I don't really like, but you know that's what we have to work with. So how we're gonna do this is we need to highlight our first kick here. So I'm gonna click it right here and I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna click on the last kick here. So now I got all three highlighted here. So all I need to do is right click on one of these faders here. It doesn't really matter which one. And I need to go to either group or group manager. So we're gonna actually start with group manager so I can create something that makes more sense than letters. You see letters in here. Uh, we don't really wanna use letters because they don't make a lot of sense. So we're gonna to go to group manager. Now in group manager here, we can go down to pick one of these letters. So we'll just pick a random one. We'll pick G. And then what I recommend is don't adjust anything in this window. Leave this checked where it says preserve mix between game members and leave this on absolute. Now go to attributes. And what we're gonna do for group and name is we're gonna call this kick level, okay? And I can't type apparently today. There we go, kick level. And if you want, you can go in here and choose a different color. You can choose from pretty much any color that exists out there. You have the whole entire color wheel, it looks like. <laughs> so you won't run out of options. We're just gonna leave it on pink. I'm gonna hit okay. So now you can see we have a group that's pink and it's called kick level. I'm gonna hit okay. So as of now, we don't really have these allocated yet to a group. So if I right click again on any of these faders and I go to group, you'll see kick level shows up in here. I'm gonna select it. Now you'll see that these have all turned pink. So if I move one of these, look it, they move together. If I move this one, they move together. They're all synced, all right? So we have sunk the kick volume controls. Now, if we want to sync mute, we need to do that separately. So while these are still highlighted, I can go up to mute here, right click and do the same thing. We'll go to group manager, we will go pick um, just any open one here. We'll do O. We'll go to attributes. We'll call this kick mute. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna hit okay again. And then we'll go back to the mute button here. I'm gonna right click again. I'm gonna go to group. I'm gonna find kick mute here. I'm gonna select that. And now you see that the mutes all have this little navy blue above them. And I'm gonna click on mute. Now you see they're all synced. So it's as simple as that. That is how you group parameters within tracks in Cakewalk by BandLab. Now, 
If I'm just comparing it to another DAW that I'm very familiar with, which is Pro Tools, Pro Tools allows you to group tracks as a whole and then select the attributes that you want them to be a part of that group, okay? In this situation here, we have to essentially create separate groups for parameters, like mutes its own group, volumes its own group, etc. okay? So it's just a different way of thinking when it comes to Cakewalk, all right? So that is how you group parameters and tracks within Cakewalk by BandLab. So if you guys like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I love making this content for you and hit that notification bell to know how new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.